My third highlight uh, was a study that's based at St. Jude's and this was a uh, large international collaborative effort looking at a type of leukaemia called mixed phenotype acute leukaemia. Now mixed phenotype acute leukaemia or MPAL for short is where the uh, blast cells that are driving the leukemia have a different phenotype than you would expect from classical acute lymphoblastic leukemia or classical AML and they kind of got a hybrid phenotype and for many years no one uh, people have not really known exactly how to treat these patients should you treat these patients as ALL or should you treat these patients as AML and what they the St. Jude's group have done is they've collected a huge number of samples across the world over 150 and subjected these samples uh, to uh, huge amounts of genomic characterization and they have identified several novel gene fusions and also key mutational uh, 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 profiles that define particular subsets of MPAL. And what's really exciting about this particular piece of work is this will actually um, help to uh, future cl uh, clinicians to actually, first of all, diagnose the patient correctly and then administer the correct therapy. So it has a real opportunity to be, um, you know, uh, put it into the clinic. Um, pretty quickly. And as a slight adjunct to that, there was another study also based on MPAL that was again an international study, but this study was slightly different. Instead of going for kind of um, high level genomic profiling, they collected a huge amount of patient and clinical and routine genetic data on over nearly 300 patients with MPAL across Europe um, and the US. And there they uh, did a similar kind of profiling but uh, um, to see which patients actually had ALL, which patients had AML and how you, you could best treat these patients. And even a simple study like that identified a number of abnormalities that can clearly be treated as either ALL or AML and therefore remove this kind of diagnostic dilemma. And then they also provided additional um, indicators about how well these patients might fare if they are treated with ALL or if they are treated with AML. So again, another example of where we're using our uh, uh, research collaboration and the collection of, of data, clinical data and genetic data to improve the treatment and outcome of patients uh, with acute leukemia.